Hello my friends, Gabriel here and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on your uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini International LTE model i9195. Before we proceed you need to make a full backup of your uh, device uh, system and data and also you need to be rooted and uh, have a custom recovery installed on your device. Let's proceed with the installation. And uh, let's head on to the recovery. You get into recovery by pressing uh, power on, volume up and uh, home key at the same time. As you can see, I have a clockwork mode recovery installed. If you want to know how to restore, uh, how to install uh, a custom recovery and root your device, be sure to check my channel. I have a tutorial already available there. Once in recovery, we need to do a factory reset. Once you did it, go to wipe cache partition, select yes, wipe cache. Head on to advanced and select wipe Dalvik cache. Select again, yes. Okay, when you're done, go back. Head on to install zip. Choose zip from SD card. And uh, head on to the location of your uh, files where you downloaded them or uh, transferred them. Press select. Choose the file and uh, again choose yes install and uh, install the custom ROM that uh, you want to install on your device. My device is running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean the official one there's an official 4.4 uh, KitKat available but uh, for some reason uh, I didn't uh, and apparently I'm not the only one who didn't get this update although on uh, their site it's uh, saying that it's available since June we are uh, already in July so uh, I decided to install a custom ROM based on uh, Android 4.4 uh, KitKat I don't have any high hopes with uh, KitKat on this device because I know what uh, a troublesome experience was uh, on my Sony Xperia Z1 and on my regular S4. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, on this device uh, it will perform a lot more better. So uh, that's why I'm, uh, I'm installing it. I'm installing a liquid smooth ROM therefore I have to install also the gaps, the Google Apps and we are almost done and hopefully in a couple of uh, seconds I'm gonna have Android 4.4 KitKat running on my uh, Galaxy S4 Mini the international LTE model Always, before you start installing a custom ROM, make sure you back up your device. Also in recovery, 
make sure you make a factory reset wipe the cache wipe the dalvik cache and then proceed with uh, the installation okay everything is done and uh, let's go to reboot system now and hopefully it will reboot and uh, I'm gonna have uh, Android 4.4 KitKat installed on my uh, S4 Mini. Everything seems to be okay till now. Let's see if it passes the boot up animation. And uh, I won't be forced into anything. Uh, dramatic. It's a pretty nice uh, boot up animation. As always remember when you install a custom ROM the first boot up will uh, take longer it doesn't matter that uh, your device is more powerful than others it's uh, the same rule the first boot up takes a lot uh, a lot longer because uh, it has to install everything so just be patient and uh, don't make anything stupid as a lot of people uh, have done and uh, ended up breaking their uh, devices just because they couldn't wait uh, one minute longer or um, 10 seconds longer and as you can see it has installed and now I'm just gonna have to proceed with uh, the setup of the device okay so have you seen it it's uh, nothing uh, hard to do it's pretty easy just have to be a little patient don't uh, mess up with the installation process and uh, everything's gonna be okay I'm gonna come back with uh, a full review of uh, this ROM running on the S4 mini until then, leave your comments in the comment section, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, also make sure to share it and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel for future content as uh, more will follow in the coming days. As always you can follow me on my official Facebook page, on my uh, Google Plus page and uh, if you have any issues, any problems, make sure you Leave a comment in the comment section and I will try to, to get back as soon as possible to you. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to hear in my, uh, from you in my next videos. Until then, wish you all the best. As always, be safe, be good. Your friend Gabriel signing out. Peace.